Greetings! This is Gynthian, and today we're playing on the Veil vale in Minecraft 1.20.1. I was flying along doing some map making, and lo and behold, Pillager Outpost. And I want to check it out. I also don't see any pillagers around, so let's go investigate. Maybe I can fight some and get some XP for my Elytra so that it can mend. You know, because me and fighting mobs always works out so well. Either way, my Elytra is getting low and needs mending, so I need to get some XP so that I can make it home. An ender chest, why do I always open it? I don't see any pillagers around. I know they should be here. I'm going to sleep. I don't know why I'm wiggling around so much. That seems to be a bug with the replay mod. Okay, I checked and pillagers continually spawn in a 72 by 54 by 72 block. Centered on the top floor. Okay, they found me. And I'll just step aside. Ah! I died, and I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to get back here without an elytra. Okay, let's press the respawn button. I've got to go back. I'm not sure where I will respawn. Oh, yeah. I forgot I slept in this bed. Totally not sure why that sped up. An advancement. I didn't know about that one. My goal here is to get them to shoot each other because I don't have a weapon. Each time I die, everybody disappears, and when I press the respawn button, I come back and they all appear again. That's a feature of the replay mod. Skelly, if you're watching, please tell me what the loser advancement actually means. I really am working on getting them to kill each other, because again, lack of a weapon. That tombstone right there in the doorway is where all my stuff is. The captain died, and since I didn't kill him, right there on the floor was the banner. It's still there. When I go, I and I picked it up, but I did not get the effect. And that tombstone signifies that's where the banner is. That's why it appeared. It only, I only get tombstones when I die and there's stuff in my inventory. If there's nothing in my inventory, then there's no need for a tombstone. Now I'm going to get some blocks and close this door so I don't get any more. And there's a tombstone because it had blocks in my hand. I pick that one up, and I attack, and I die. I just click the tombstone to get my items, so my inventory is full. So I switch to my sword, which happens to have knockback on it. That's interesting. I completely forgot that it had knockback. So, I'm going through my inventory, making room, and picking up my stuff so I can put the helmet back on. And now that I think about it, I'm also going to need to eat and take off the breastplate and put back on my elytra, or any experience I get won't mend it. So, now, let me gather up my stuff, and then I can go about killing more pillagers. I think I will do that through the windows. This shulker box contains some snow, which can be very, very, very useful for pillagers, because you can use the snow to block their arrows and still see over them. They 
can't necessarily figure out that they have to shoot over the snow. Sometimes they do anyway, but most often they just shoot into the snow as long as they can see you. And then I can, of course, kill them by swinging over the snow as well. So that's the plan. That's what I will do next. But I want to gather up this stuff before we get much further. And... I can touch this. It has to be an empty hand. And that's gone. Now it's in my inventory. Only one more tombstone to pick up. Meanwhile, let's put these items away. That reminds me, I have some signs. And I want to leave a sign saying I was here. So let's, yeah, let's put it right here on the wall. I'm typing. I'm still typing. This kind of makes it difficult to finish. But I want to finish. There we go. Arrow time. You know, like bullet time. Mist from the Matrix. That reference to old or obscure. Let's get out of crossbow range and get some food. And I'm running out of food. Okay, let's pick up this. Get some snow. Go over here again, because I need to eat some more. But I don't have food. Salmon. I have salmon. Fill this up with snow. And now he can't hit me. But I can hit him. Oh, he's shooting over the snow. There we go. But he's too far away. And now if they just shoot each other, that would be good. Hit him again. And I got him. Oh, and I got the... Ooh, I got the bad omen status effect. So now I better avoid villages and spawn. But I can drink milk to get rid of the effect. He's just going to keep shooting. But he's not moving closer. Do you know pillagers can attack while underwater? They use their crossbow so they can't hit you very well, but they do. Yep. I took me a while to notice this. Really, an allay. Where is it going? Let me try to give it a rocket. That did not work. It would have been way cool to capture an allay while I was here. And he's gone. Very cool. So... 
I want to fill these up with snow as well. Up. Oh. He's still. Come on. Get the snow in place. There we go. Now he's not hitting me every other time. I'm going to gather up this wood because it gets in the way and it's hard to hit through it. There's another pillager. And I don't have to kill the pillager as long as I can hit them. Then if they kill each other, I still get the XP. But I am running low on food. I have salmon. Ah, there it is. Salmon. Great. Salm... How can I say that? Salmonella poisoning? I did not know. I didn't remember that I get can get that from eating raw salmon. But now I can keep eating it and I don't seem to get the effect a second time. But you know what? This makes me think I really want to cook my salmon. And in order to do that, I'm going to need a furnace. And to do that, I need cobblestone, which of course I'm not carrying with me. Yes, it's tempting to get it from the walls. Do have solid blocks though, stone. So I can use my pickaxe to make cobble. Fill this in so I don't get shot again. It's nighttime. Let's sleep. There we go. So now let's fill this one in with snow. And now I should be able to attack them, but they won't attack. Well, they won't be able to hit me. Ideally. And I don't want them sneaking up on me. So close that off. One more. There we go. Whoever visits here next will have to open that back up. Fish does not sustain you for very long. I think cooked fish does it better. So let's get that cobble. Get the different pickaxe. The one that doesn't have silk touch. Make room in my inventory. There, now I can pick it up. There we go. Now I have cobble instead of stone. I carry a crafting bench. Yes, I know I don't really need the crafting bench on this server. But I usually carry one around out of habit. And we have made a furnace. And I've got wood, and that's the last tombstone, which all it had in it was mud.
And I'll just leave the mud there. Then I can go put my fish and the wood into the furnace. And here we have some fish. And it's cooked. You can see here that I have the bad omen effect. It causes that symbol to appear in the upper right hand corner. What is, where is that shooting coming from? Uh, he's got to be on the other side of the snow. I looked it up and the bad omen effect lasts for 100 minutes or five in-game days or until I drink milk. So milk is always a possibility. Wow, there's a lot of pillagers. Well, now there's only three. So I guess that's not really a lot. Cooked fish works better than raw fish. It's actually salmon. But as these guys come close, I can whack at them with a sword until I kill them all. Other than that, they tend to shoot each other. Got him. There, and that's it. At this point, I gather up all my stuff and even take the snow with me. And I'm going to head back home. And that will be the end of this little adventure. I hope you enjoyed watching it. And that's going to be all for today. Thank you for watching. And goodbye.